What if we took an NFL team with the best players under 30 years old and put them up against another NFL team comprised of all the best players over 30 years old? Who would win? Let's find out. But before we hop in, I have to yell at EA's development team because I had to spend hours making these rosters all because salary cap is in effect when you're not in connected friends, like just in standard play now mode. Why does salary cap have to be in effect? That doesn't make any sense. It makes zero sense to me. So given salary cap, these teams aren't as complete as I would like them to be. There are some guys that are left off, but I did the best that I could, despite EA trying to prevent me from making rosters like this. Really, this is what it should be. You should have a blank slate of all 32 teams, and you should be able to just fill the rosters however you please, right? And then as once you fill up two teams... Those are the only teams that you're able to use and play now, right? And then as you add more teams, you can then select more teams to use in play now mode. I think that makes decent sense. And obviously it would take a long time to fill up all 32 teams and you should be able to just say, hey, uh, just fill up all 32 teams by certain cl uh, classifications. You should be able to do that. I think that makes logical sense that you should be able to do that. But that is just me. Now that my rant is over, we can get into the teams and we're going to start with the young team, the team under 30 years old. And this is where you'll understand the context of seeing like Jalen Hurts as the backup quarterback instead of, say, Joe Burrow or Josh Allen. It's obviously for salary cap purposes, but also I went and turned injuries off, so it shouldn't be a problem. It's just a necessary thing to point out. But our starting quarterback is Patrick Mahomes. Our running back tandem is Nick Chubb and Christian McCaffrey. The wide receivers, Tyreek Hill. Stefan Diggs, Justin Jefferson, Jamar Chase. I wanted to have Cooper Cup in here as well, but he has like the most expensive cap hit of any wide receiver in the game. It's crazy. At tight end, we have George Kittle and Mark Andrews. The offensive line, if anything was a weakness on this team, I would say it's probably the offensive line. Although it would still probably be the best in the league or one of the best in the league if this wasn't an awesome team against an awesome team. But we have Laramie Tunsil at left tackle, Quentin Nelson at left guard, Creed Humphrey is our center, Wyatt Teller, and Tristan Wirfs then round out the right side of our offensive line. Moving on to defense, our defensive end are Nick Bosa and Miles Garrett, with our defensive tackles being Chris Jones and Dexter Lawrence. At linebacker, we have TJ Watt, Fred Warner, and Roquan Smith in the middle, and then our other outside linebacker is Micah Parsons. So we just happened to get all the best edge rushers in the league on this team. I wanted to have Max Crosby on this team as well, but again, cap hit, it just wasn't going to work out. Moving on to the secondary, we have Jalen Ramsey, Jair Alexander, and Marlon Humphrey at corner. And then at safety, we have Jesse Bates, Kevin Byard, and Derwin James. And now we can move on to our senior citizen team with Tom Brady as our starting quarterback. Our running back trio is really, really weak. We have Cordell Patterson, Raheem Mostert, and Jarek McKinnon. Our receivers, on the other hand, are pretty decent. We have Devontae Adams, and I know he's listed at 29 in Madden, but in real life, he's 30. So it counts. All right. We also have DeAndre Hopkins, Keenan Allen, Julio Jones, and Marquise Goodwin. We then, of course, have the best tight end in the league, followed up by the best offensive line I've ever seen in my life. Trent Williams, Joel Batonio, Jason Kelsey, Zach Martin, and Lane Johnson. Unstoppable. The trenches is going to be an incredible battle. We have the young team with just the best pass rushers in the league, and then the old team with the best offensive line anyone's ever seen. Taking a look at our defensive line, we have Demarcus Lawrence, Von Miller, Aaron Donald, and Fletcher Cox. This defensive line is not nearly as good as the other team, but it's pretty good. You got Aaron Donald. You can't complain. And then our linebackers consist of Matthew Judon, Levante David, Demario Davis, and Khalil Mack. Our front seven overall is just not that great outside of Aaron Donald, but they might be able to get some work in. And then taking a look at the secondary, you have to be a little bit worried as to whether or not they'll be able to hang with the firepower of the young offense. But we have Darius Slay, Stefan Gilmore, Patrick Peterson, and Jason Verrett, along with Micah Hyde at free safety and Jordan Poyer at strong safety. And then you know we had to pick up Justin Tucker for the one time. Now, before I recorded this video, I decided to hop in the shower and I was thinking about what team am I going to control because the whole idea is 
pinning these teams up against each other to see who wins in this hypothetical scenario. And I came to the conclusion that the only way for me to see who's actually going to win this game is for me to not play. I cannot be involved at all. So we're going to sit back, leave in the comments who you think is going to win before we get started, grab some popcorn, and we're going to watch these teams go head to head. All right, let's see how these teams do. The Browns are on offense first. You see we have Patrick Mahomes, empty backfield to start off, four wide receivers. Let's see, he's getting the ball out quickly to Tyreek Hill on the sideline. Not really anywhere to go there. And now after a devastating loss on second down, we have third down and 10 for this Browns team. They got to convert here. We, we got to see some high flying action from this offense. They're supposed to be. They're supposed to be the best in the world. Let's see them go to work here. Third down and 10. Patrick Mahomes looking to throw under pressure. And who else other than Aaron Donald with the sack? Fourth and 18. Wow, what a play. I mean, he just completely devoured that offensive line. Time to sack 3.2 seconds. Mahomes had no hope there. And now we get to see the current GOAT take the field after just seeing the future GOAT go three and out. Let's see if uh, Tom Brady in this Bills offense can go to work. Under center here, I formation. Probably going to be a run. Yep, handing it off right away. Not a huge gain, but three yards for Kadero Patterson on first down. You take that. On second down and seven, they're going empty here. They're trying to pick up some big chunk yards. Tom Brady takes the snap, a blitz from this Browns off from the Browns defense, and wow, what a completion. This offense has a new set of downs. They're going, man, heavy set here. Two tight ends, single back. Let's see what they're gonna do on offense. Sending Devontae in motion. Dropping back to throw, and he's almost throwing an interception. What a play by the defense. Tom Brady thought he had Kelsey open on the corner, and if he could have gotten it over the linebacker, probably would have been a touchdown. Second down and 10, shotgun, but a tight set here. Wide receivers in close. Let's see what Tom Brady is looking to do. No blitz, all day to throw. Thrown almost intercepted again. <laughs> wow, bro, this defense is all over the place. Third down and 10. Hopefully this defense can hold them to a field goal. Let's see. Let's see what this old these old geezers got for us. And Tom Brady throws an incompletion on third and ten. Fourth down. And it looks like the Buffalo Bills will have to settle for three. But luckily they have Justin Tucker. They're not worried at all. I promise you that. Patrick Mahomes leading his high flying offense back out into the field. Let's see if this drive can be a little bit more productive than their last one. Negative eight total yards and had to punt. Got to do better here. I expect them to establish the ground game, but no, Mahomes coming out throwing Nick Chubb right away, cannot get free, and they lose a yard. I mean, this offense has no juice right now. We've seen very little involvement from this <laughs> incredible receiving core. Let's see if they can get something going here. Patrick Mahomes all day to throw, fires it to McCaffrey, a lot of check downs, but almost gets to the first down, third down and one. They have not thrown a single pass, like, past the sticks. All right, third down and one. I, I, yeah, I imagine this was going to be a run play. Nick Chubb, that's their best play of the day. First down. And that ended the first quarter. Into the second quarter, we got a, we got a two by two set on offense. Patrick Mahomes, again, not a lot of downfield passing here, but a nine yard gain sets up a short second down situation. Looks like we got a trips bunch look on the outside. On the right side here, Patrick Mahomes. Bub oh, I thought there was going to be the bubble screen on the right side. But it looks like they're going to have uh, that's either Mark Andrews or George Kittle. I couldn't tell from here. And that's a first down. It was, in fact, kill. It was Kittle. Empty step. Empty step. Are you going to throw it down the field this time? Oh, 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 Justin Jefferson down to the 12 yard line. What a play. And they're they're now in scoring. They're in scoring territory here. We got a bunch to the left. Two tight ends. It looks like. Let's see what their plan is here. Look at all those X's on the field. So many X factor options at wide receiver and tight end. It's crazy. This is supposed to be the greatest offense the world has ever seen. Uh, we've got a power eye set here. George Kittle on the left side. That might be where they run if they want to utilize his, his great run blocking skills. And they just cannot get any push up front. Third down and two. 
All right, looks like we've got uh, trips on the left side, single tight end on the right. Let's see what Mahomes is, is gearing up for here. Oh, he's going to throw it to McCaffrey there. He's going to throw it to McCaffrey. Fumble! Fumble! And the offense recovers it. But that is a devastating play on third down and short to fumble it. A strip sack. And now you're in fourth and long, and you're going to have to settle for three. This is not what you wanted to see. All right, you old geezers. What have you got for us on this drive? Hopefully something good. All right. Tommy boy, shotgun. One wide receiver to his left, two to his right. Travis Kelsey's on his left as well. This offensive line's giving him all types of time. It's just like, what What are we doing, dog? I mean, this offense is weak. Let's see what they've got here. Second down and 10. Not a lot of pressure coming from this uh, this Browns defense. I would expect them to get more, but uh, this offensive line is just incredible. Only Tom Brady's second completion today. Third down and five. Let's see what let's see what they dial up, and let's see what this defense br dials up. Maybe they'll bring some heat this play. They're not getting any pressure otherwise, so it'll be interesting to see what they draw up here. No, they're dropping. They're dropping. Brady's got time. He's gonna he's gonna run for it. You, oh my god, he didn't slide! No way! No, oh my gosh! The veteran making a crucial mistake! Oh my gosh, why would you not slide there? <laughs> it's like Micah Parsons and Fred Warner are, are barreling after you, and you've got like Miles Garrett on your tail. And you're just like, nah, I've got this. What are you doing? Let's see what the Browns have in store here. All right. Patrick Mahomes had three options to his left. Hitting digs over the middle. That's a good play. That's a good play. This is what we want this offense to be doing here. This is the thing. You're not really going to get a, a, a huge mismatch here. Bills have a roof on. Two high safeties. They brought one down. Looks like a covered three. Look, it's intercepted. Brady with the fumble. Mahomes with the interception. He has a block. Breaks a tackle. And he's down inside the 35. No, at the 36 yard line. Oh my gosh. Back to back errors by these quarterbacks. And we have a, a really good shot for, for the old heads to take the lead here going into halftime. What a bad decision. Oh yeah, they're they're going like prevent defense here. It looks like oh my, everyone's wide open. It looked like a cover four, like we were gonna get a quarters drop, but the safeties came down and they had the the, the middle of the field was wide open there. Man, I mean, you've got to be worried here if, if you're rooting for the young bucks to pull this game out. Tom Brady has all day hitting his tight end, almost gets the first down. Are, they not going to call their timeout? Okay, I was about to say. You're not going to be able to get back to the line to run a pl not not with Madden Excel clock. They're they're running off 20 seconds to get back to the line of scrimmage. All right, let's see what you've got here. Let's see what you have here. Tom Brady looking, fires it into the flats. <gasps> they don't have time. You got to get up and spike it. You've got to get up you have to spike it. You have to get up and spike it. You don't have time. You don't have time! What are you doing? Nah, bro. This shit. <sighs> All right. The Bills are getting the ball in the second half to start. Tom Brady in shotgun. Three, three options bunched to his left. All day to throw. And he finds his man. That's Devontae Adams. And that's a big first down out the gate. This Buffalo offensive line. I mean, these offensive linemen are insane. They have allowed basically zero pressure against the best edge rushers in the NFL. I, those receivers ran into each other there. But the offensive line has been incredible. No pressure whatsoever on Tom Brady. He's had all day to throw every single play. I mean, this is the best front seven you could possibly make in football outside of Aaron Donald. And they've just been getting after it. I mean, look at this play. Kadero Patterson making guys miss an open field. And outside of that, he makes one guy miss. And there's this huge alleyway to run through. Look at that. I mean, he, once he got past Bosa, he was gone. Awesome. Just awesome work up front. Tom Brady going empty. Three to his left, two to his right. Kelsey's to his right as well. 
Let's see what he's let's see what we've got going here. Again, all day to throw wide open receiver DeAndre Hopkins. They're marching and they're in field goal range now. They should be fine. Tom Brady's under center here. Looking to throw again all day. Hopkins gets wide open. That's another first down, man. All right, let's see. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Oh, what a play to get a stop. Big tackle for loss there. Well, not a, not a loss, but it was a two-yard gain. But it looked like a tackle for loss at first glance. But that's because the offensive line gets so much push up front that everyone's four yards down the field. Oh, that... You're lucky to have gotten a first down there. Nah, nah, brah. That should have... Oh, my God. No, I might actually have to, like, go and do an instant replay on that. Did you not see how wide open the left was? I, I couldn't I couldn't pause it to take a look at the instant replay. But oh my god. I mean, the the left was so wide open. And they got eight yards on this play, so they're in a third and seven, which is much better than the second and fifteen that they got put into because of the holding call. Holy shit! And I guess it doesn't matter because it was a holding call. The left, I mean, there was a touchdown. All right, Tom, Tom, fourth down, another field goal. This defense just came to play. As we enter the final quarter, it is six to three. The old heads have the lead, the geezers, the senior citizens. Mahomes, you have to put together a drive here. Two wide receivers to his right. One to his left, along with George Kittle, dropping, looking to throw all day, and he's got his man, Tyreek Hill, and he has space down at midfield. Oh, what a play. What a play. Making a man miss an open field. That's awesome. All right, first down and 10. Got a power eye set here. George Kittle on the right, two wide receivers on his left. He's going to go play action here, firing to his fullback. What? All that. All this play action, throwing to your fullback, and there's an illegal man downfield. I mean, this team is just, like, filled with, like, weird mental errors. Both of these teams, really. Mahomes fires, finds George Kittle, breaks a tackle. But not really much to go there. Second and 11. Gotta get something going here on offense. What have we learned here today? The offensive line matters so much. Brady's had all day to throw. Jesus Christ. I mean, third and nine. Mahomes feels like he's panicking back there. He just doesn't trust his pocket. I don't know what it is, man. When I get that first drive, he was under some duress. Um, the strip sack was apparent. Aaron Donald can get after you for sure. But I mean, this is just brutal to watch. I cannot lie. Mahomes has some time. Finds his receiver. And that's a first down. Stefan Diggs. With a two-minute warning in this game. Three to six. You got to get in the field goal range or ideally get a touchdown. And he missed. Oh, you had two guys open there out of their break. You got to hit one of them, man. Second down and 10. Minute 56 to go. You got all three timeouts. You got time. You got resources here. You've got weapons. Offensive lines holding up on this play. You find digs. Get close to a first down. Third down and one. Just can't turn it over here. No boneheaded mental errors. It's supposed to be the best offense the world has ever seen. First down. First down on third and one. You're taking chunks off the clock here. Just over a minute to go. First down and 10. Let's see what they can get going here. Taking a shot to Justin Jefferson on the sideline. First down and goal at the two yard line. Look at this route. And look at that throw. The throw was made before the break. Oh my gosh. Ridiculous. A minute to go. First and goal at the two. Gotta punch it in here. A field goal is not what you want here. They got it. They got it. The first touchdown of the game. Stefan Diggs. And they take the lead with just under a minute to go. But the Bills have all of their timeouts. Under a minute. And you've got Tom Brady. The comeback kid. He can do this. If anyone can do it, he can. All right, 52 seconds. You're down four. Field goal doesn't help you here. You need a touchdown. Once again, all day to throw. DeAndre Hopkins, 
Seven yards on first down. I gotta move. This is the problem that happened on your drive before halftime. You ran out of time because you poorly managed the clock. You have 35 seconds left and you've only gotten seven yards. Wow. And after all of that, you wasted all that time just to call a timeout. Wow. This clock management is ridiculously bad. Wow. I mean, you've got to give credit to, to, to Mahomes and that, and that young in offense for really just saying, you know what? We don't trust you to manage the clock at all. And I, can you blame them? Can you blame them? 25 seconds left and they've moved, what, 13 yards? This is terrible. This is terrible. This is, you, you got to get something going here. You do. You do. You have all day to throw. Stop with the check down madness, dog. You have 20 seconds left. At least you got out of bounds on that play. Just complete, just completely brain dead. You have all day to throw. Make something happen here. Oh, he's taking a shot. He's taking a shot. Wait, they're doing the Hail Mary now? <laughs> Why'd you do the... That's not what... <laughs> I just, I just want a real play. <laughs> they, they went, check down, check down, check down. Hail Mary. <laughs> what? <laughs> check down, check down, check down. Hail Mary. What are we talking about, dog? What are we talking about? They're going to lose. Oh my God, they're going to lose. <laughs> just because they have terrible clock management in their final plays. <laughs> Are gonna go check down, check down, check down, Hail Mary, Hail Mary, Hail Mary. <laughs> All day to throw. Oh, no, no, no way. No, this is literally, they literally pulled a Cowboys. They literally pulled a Cowboys. Check down, check down, check down, Hail Mary weird Hail Mary on the like a deep shot on the sideline check down the last play of the game they went check down <laughs> but we did in fact get our answer that between a team of players all over 30 years old and a team of players all under 30 years old the young team wins barely barely and maybe in a scenario where they have better clock management they do win that game so maybe we'll run this experiment another time. Maybe I'll have like myself playing against a friend of mine. Let me know in the comments if that's something you would like to see. Let's take a look at the stats though from this game. Not a whole lot of offense from either team. They just really couldn't really get into much of a rhythm. Uh, Patrick Mahomes had the one really bad interception. Both quarterbacks fumbled once. I mean, just not, not a lot of great offense. And I think what should be most frustrating from the Bills' perspective is Tom Brady had all day to throw. Every single play, he never once was under pressure. On the on the last like, on the last play of the game, even pancake, 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 pancake. It's incredible. This is really fascinating. Zero percent on third down. They went zero for four. They didn't convert on third down once. Not one time. That's pretty crazy to me. Listen, to me, all it comes down to, the Bills didn't manage their time well. At the end of the first half, they ran out of time when they were in a prime position to score, at least get a field goal. And they should have just taken three end zone shots, and they didn't do that. And then here at the end of the game, you know, check down, check down, check down, Hail Mary, deep shot on the sideline, check down. Like, it was just a complete misunderstanding of what you were trying to accomplish. It didn't make any sense to me. I do think ultimately, I think Mahomes outplayed Brady slightly. The one thing you might question is like, well, Mahomes had more open receivers, but also Brady had more time to throw. He never was under pressure. So I think you take those things into account. I do think Mahomes did play a little bit better. He at the very least, I think made better, outside of the terrible interception, made better decisions. Neither team was effective on the ground, not a lot of rushing attempts even. Jefferson made two huge plays in the receiving game. That was exciting to see. Hopkins was effective for Brady. Diggs, of course, had the touchdown. Tyreek Hill was effective, making that one dude miss in open field, getting out to midfield. That was, that was a huge play for them. But I think what I'll do is I will end up uploading this roster. So if you guys want to play around with it and, you know, play against it with your friends or your family, uh, I'll, I'll upload it and I'll let you guys know on Twitter 
uh, when that's up and, and ready available for everyone to use. But thank you all for tuning in. Again, let me know in the comments if you want me to do more stuff with either of these teams. And until next time, as always from Lemon Boy, I will catch you all on the flippity flop. <laughs>